Hello, knife people. It is an art knife. I mean, this bevel was done by a highly skilled craftsman. Zero grind convex edge. I stropped it up so it has a mirror shining portion close to the edge, on the edge, but no deep at all. Completely zero grind convex edge. Out there, many custom convex edge knives, but some uh, have a deeper angle. Some have, uh, you know, crescent edge line. The both are easy to make, large angle and uh, crescent belly or recurve, you know. No um, planning uh, shame. I mean, I don't know what to say. This bark river can repeatedly make the same line at the same angle, you know, as scheduled graph. What to say? Design graph. It keeps its design and same edge angle, same edge line, or zero grind. It's art. What do you think? It's nothing other than the art. Very skilled people can do it. Former batch, maybe current batch of A2 Gani is an art knife. This is the art. Shema. Art. This is not an art knife at all. Look at this ridiculous bevel transition line. And look at this ridiculous secondary micro bevel. It didn't take my regular stropping, but high angle stropping. Ridiculously dull. It doesn't cut paper at all. Can you believe that? It's a bark river knife. It cuts like nothing. This is the bark river art edge. This edge. Bevel transition line here. And the secondary deep angle. This difference. At a glance, look like the same edge, but actually very different. I need to make close to this edge angle. I once experienced this knife, S35VN, Kani. This had the uh, edge like this. Maybe the bevel was continuous, but flat bevel, micro bevel, like this. So I ground off this shoulder. I tried high, from high line grinding off, but it was impossible. So I just grind off the shoulder. So this knife, as you can see, has a new uh, micro bevel I made. This is my trial line, trial grinding. But just uh, make a uh, uh, polishing pattern, sanding pattern on the water stone. I think it's beautiful, but it is nothing. 
This final edge angle, this mirror shining portion, much deeper than this one. This is the art knife, back river art. You know, this angle is larger than this angle. Very different. First, I cut with this angle. Second, I cut with this angle. A bit stronger angle. Resistance. I tried to shallow down this angle twice. Shallow down, shallow and shallower. But this is the limit for me. S35 here. And this ridiculous edge. What I can do for this knife is just grind off this micro bevel. I can't get this sharp angle on this ridiculous 3 V edge at all. Final angle is like this. I believe its final angle will go larger than this S35 VN. But it is needed maybe. It's a cheapy steel 3 V. S35 VN. Hmm. In this angle, it was great. A bit larger than this one. This morning, I shallowed down as, uh, as shallow as possible, but it is the limit. You know, hollow bevel is very easy to give it a shallow angle to convex edge. Hollow bevel, like this. Just this portion, I can put as small as angle possible as this one. A bit larger, but uh, smaller than this one. Nearly the same, 28 degrees. 24, 22 degrees in A2. This will make, now it has 40 degree angle, I believe. And its final angle will be 30 or a bit more in 3V. It's not an art knife. I thought it was from its steel property. They intentionally put this angle, but I recently changed my thoughts after discussing with many knife people on my uh, video comment corner, I recently believe that it was from uh, less technology of the craftsman, less skilled craftsman, you know, less skill. It's not art edge, looks very similar, but very different thing from this A2. Fox River, uh, sorry, Ghani. Please go to this knife. A2, it is still remaining, maybe. But maybe all 3V and all S35VN will come in this ridiculous edge. I can't uh, confirm that, but if I mm, had a chance, I would uh, check it up. Possible, if possible. Mm. Anyway, I'll do it on this knife from now. I don't recommend you to do it by yourself. This fat mm, geometry interferes uh, me from uh, sharpening at a small angle. You know. 
This flat geometry is annoying to make a small angled edge. So, I don't recommend you to do it by yourself. You had better send it back to Back River. If you had the same problem on your 3 V edge, it's very, very hard steel. It almost took 45 minutes. You know, very long time it will take. Three times longer than S35 VN. This sharpening angle is larger, not due to myself, due to its fat geometry. Grinding off from this high line is impossible for this hard steel. Okay. This is the best finish I can make. Sharpening from a high line is impossible for this fat geometry. You can see the bevel transition level line here. This bevel is very deep. Hmm. Okay, let's go to stropping. A2 S35VN G A2 S thirty five VN three G As you can see, this bevel transition protruding interferes this sharpening line coming up from this line. Nothing here. As you can see, this side is the same. This fat line interferes this sharpening coming up, up here. So this final angle is pretty large over 30 degrees. This one, no bevel transition line, so very smooth, complete, uh, continuous convex, but it had a large angled flat V bevel. This sharpening patterns coming to the spine, very high line, but its final edge angle is the same as this one, over 30. Not scary shop. A2, continuous convex. It doesn't have any secondary micro edge. This is the Bark River knife. A2, former batch. This one, you shouldn't go to uh, this one for now. This one, you shouldn't go to this knife for now. CPM 3B.
No good. No joyful knife. You feel joy only with this A2 Gani. This is a real art knife, joyful knife. It will give us a much joy for sure. S35VN, if it had a genuine zero grind edge, it would give us a joy too. But this fat geometry will never give us a joy. For my purpose at least, maybe for any purposes for you. Okay? I need to leave this Bark River steel issue right now because I have many other steels to evaluate in the field. So, okay, I will carry these two uh, ridiculous knives as a backup knife. Yes, dependable, maybe. So as a back backup knife, and if they had a chance, I would report about them after a file. So let's go to some other steels from the next chance for uh, 28C back or AUS8 SOG. Mm, I have many interesting steels other than bug weavers. Okay, thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.